Hey guys, and welcome back to Nightcry. When we last left off, we uh, visited the survivors in the cargo hold, and we experienced some truly nonsensical dialogue. Still, no time to worry about that right now. We need to go and uh, check out the bar, which was somewhere back here, I believe. Unless I have come down with some kind of temporary madness. There should be. That was... Yeah, this is it's here somewhere, I believe. Wait, that's... That's the room with Sal in it. Okay, I got it. Yeah, this map is still very confusing. So we need to go back through here. That was Jerome's room. Come on, Rooney. Don't wig out every time we get close to a door. Also, how big are these doors, man? They are huge. Okay, so... We need to go down... No, don't turn around, Rooney. Come on. I know you don't want to go through these doors. But unfortunately, your fate is set. And we need to go into the bar. Which is just in here. I guess we could probably put our light on in here. Because it's very dark. Ooh, something happened in here, didn't it? Got the jukebox. I think if we touch the jukebox, something bad happens. There's a, there's a ball on the counter. It's a little larger than a ping pong ball. Upon careful inspection, the ball has a number printed on it. It looks like a billiard ball. I wonder if somebody took it from the games room. And there we have billiard ball C. Okay. Let's see what else we've got in here. Uh, there's a glass and a photograph on the table. Hmm, it's just a selfie. If this is a passenger, I hope they're okay. Yeah, they're, they're probably not. I'm gonna be honest. Many bottles of expensive looking liquor are lined up on the counter. Yes, there is. Okay, right, time to go back down the other side. Let's get out of here. We have what we came for. I think that's actually the only thing in this room, to be honest. Beautiful. Now let's go back to the games room where we originally found Sal. See how he's doing. If he, indeed he is still there. Come on, Rooney. You don't need to twitch out every single time. Now, technically... Actually, let me pause. I'm going to go save it. Okay, so the game is saved. Let's go back into the games room. Well, that doesn't look good. Seems to be an awful lot of blood in here. Not good at all. Ah. That is also not great. Who are you? Ah. It looks like our friend Sal. Oof. That's pretty brutal. Uh-oh. That's not good. Let's just stand there and watch. Ooh, straight through the eyes. <laughs> I think, personally, that's one of the best deaths in the game. <laughs> it's just... It's just the way she stands there, staring. I, Unfortunately, you don't get to see who threw that. Uh, I would assume it was either the scissor walker or, well, maybe somebody else. Anyway, I will be right back. Yeah, poor, poor Sal. He certainly had a time of it, didn't he? Uh-oh. Rooney. Let's use that instinct. Hey, buddy. <laughs> this is awkward. Right, let's get rid of you again. And now we need to run away. Unfortunately, uh, don't fall over, Rooney. Come on now. 
is not the time to indulge in your uh, fantasies. Uh, we need to go the other way. This way. Come on, Rooney. Rooney, stop it. Stop it. Please don't fall over. Okay, we don't need any of that today. I'm not sure why they added the, the trip mechanics to the game. Okay, where can we go and hide? Let's have a think about this. There really aren't too many places, to be honest with you, that are safe. Shall we try hiding behind the seats again? I don't know. I mean, technically, we've already hidden there, but... And there's a big but. Oh, get up, you silly woman. Yeah, just take your time. Don't, don't even worry about it. Just... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yep, we're dead. We're dead. <sighs> Whoever decided that the falling over mechanic um, needed to be in the game, I hope, I hope they come down with the some kind of itchy ass syndrome of which there is no cure for. Seriously. I hope they spend the rest of their days scratching their ass in vain because it's it's like the knockback mechanics in Castlevania. It serves no purpose other than to infuriate the player and waste the player's time. Anyway, all right. Let's try one more time. Once more with feeling. Come on, Rooney. Come on, you can survive. I believe in you. I'm wondering if we go to the bar, if there's, if we can hide behind the counter. That might, might work. There really aren't that many places to hide. Don't fall over, Rooney. Come on, remember what happened in the last? Ah, oh, you stupid woman, come on. Yep. And it's completely random how long it takes for her to stand up. It doesn't matter how many times you click. Doesn't matter what you do. Okay, can we hide in here? <clears throat> of course we can't hide in here. Why did I think we would... And there's nothing in here to defend ourselves with. Oh. <laughs> there we go. And we're dead again. All right. That's fine. We must also remember that the scissor walker is faster than us. Because it always will catch. Eventually. Unless we use the quick run mechanic. Or the dash, I believe they called it. But the only trouble with the dash mechanic, of course, is that it's going to make you fall over. Which is a problem. Now, are we going to fall over in this corridor? Uh, yeah, I guess we are. Which means there's a very good chance now that we're not going to be able to get up. Come on, Rooney. Come on. It's literally behind us. There we go. We're up. We're running. Don't fucking trip again, you useless fool. Okay, that's fine. Now, if we get killed here again, I'm not going to be the happiest boy. I'll be honest. Come on. Come on. Run. Run. Come on. Keep going. There we go. Don't trip on the stairs. Uh, oh. Yep. So... We can't hide there again because we've technically already hit there. Even though this is a different scene. Uh. All right, then. Okay, I don't know how I've managed it, but I've managed to get away without triggering um, the escape scene. 
So maybe we're going to have more stamina to get away with. Which is a good thing. I think. Maybe. Now I need to try... Okay. So we can't hide in the theatre. We're not going to be able to hide in the toilet. There's nowhere in the bar to hide. There has got to be somewhere else to hide. There has to be. Don't fall. You've got plenty of stamina. We can't hide there because I guess of course not. Alright. Okay, we are now running out of stamina. So we're in the danger area. Uh, shit. Okay, just run. I think there's somewhere in the shop to hide. If we've picked the right way to go. Which... Maybe? Okay. We've gone the right way. Can we... Go into the shop? Come on, into the shop. Into the shop, Rooney. Into the fucking shop. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no. No, come on, get up. For the love of God, get up. Get up. Get up. We, we're not going to be able to hide now because it's right... Yep. Can we survive? No. No. Because our stamina was already too low. <sighs> so not only do you have the challenge of trying to find somewhere to hide, you've got the challenge of actually getting there as well, which is completely RNG. Because sometimes you'll fall over, sometimes you won't. Um, sometimes you'll have to batter the creature, which will instantly cut half of your stamina away. Sometimes you'll just be able to walk through the creature. Um, yeah. Okay. So, let's try that again, shall we? We did get away from it again. If you run round the pool tables, the uh, scissor walker sort of glitches out. So that appears to be a somewhat reliable method. I really did think we'd be able to hide behind that counter. I really did. Okay, that's fine. No, go round. Go round. Come on, go round the fucking plant, you useless cunt. There we go. <sighs> This game, this game, like, it, oh god, do I even have to say anything? We're gonna die as well because we've got no stamina, which means we're gonna fall over. Like, okay, let's see if we've got, I, we can't risk it though. We can't, okay, so we're gonna have to try and walk. Now the next challenge, walking through this door. Come on, Rooney. There you go. Well done. Jesus. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, can we hide? There's a hiding spot there. Why can't we use it? Okay, that's a hiding spot. I guess. Uh, why can't you move that quickly usually? My god, I swear to god if this doesn't work. Come on. Yeah, just, just fuck off. Seriously. Right, okay, we managed to get through that. That only took me about 23 minutes. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go back and I'm going to make use of that save spot. I will spare you guys that. All right. Now... Technically, I didn't need to skip that. We could have just... Could have just stayed there. Because we need to go and examine Sol's body again. Because he's got a key card that we need. Right. He was down this way. You know, I'm really glad that the chase sequences in this game are so few and far between. Can you imagine if they weren't? Can you imagine if they were, like, really common? Oh... Imagine if it was done on time as well. Like if you just spent too long exploring somewhere. And it's just, you know, 
certain areas in the game where you can trigger the scissor walker multiple times, but there is literally one place that you can hide. It just... Ugh, this game. Anyway, let's go grab this. Ugh. The corpse's face is punctured by dozens of darts. It's a grim sight. Well, it's not dozens, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a half dozen. A dozen is twelve. There's something sticking out of the chest pocket. The chest pocket turned up a card key. VIP card key. Excellent. Right, come on, Lurch. Let's get out of here. She literally runs like a gremlin. Bad posture, maybe? I don't know. Scoliosis? We may never know. I don't understand as well. Like, why is there unlimited stamina when we're running around like this? But they only... Well, God. Don't. Don't. Don't give them ideas. I was going to say, why, why do we not have the random falling over mechanic when we're just exploring? But... Oh, can you imagine if it can you imagine if that was a thing? It would be something. <laughs> it really would be something. Okay, right. And if you think I'm going to save the game again, you'd be right. Okay, cool. Now, let's what is this one about? All of the lights on the elevator control button are out. The floor display isn't lit up. Looks like it's not working. Okay, that's what I thought. I was confused for a minute. This game does that. It upsets you in a way that games generally don't. You know, I... I very rarely get frustrated or just angry at a game. But this, this is one of them. This certainly does... Bring out the rage. Now, is it in there that we need to go, or... Ah, I think it's here, perhaps. It's locked. It's not going to open. Oh, but it will open, because we have the escape key. Um... Now, finally, out of that little bit of madness. But wait, there is so much more madness coming. Okay, let's go down the stairs. She's literally, she runs like she has broken legs. They've never seen an adult human run, have they? They've never modeled it. Oh, hello, Jerome. How did you get back? If you're back, surely the professor made it back. Look at that shit-eating grin he's got. Jerome, you got out safely? I did. And you seem to have gotten out with only a few scratches. Thank goodness. All thanks to your help, I even managed to meet up with the others in my group. That's great. Your friends are safe too, I take it? Yeah, they're stowed away, along with the other passengers, in the shopping area cargo hold. It seems safe there. So there were the other passengers, is that so? What's wrong? You look conflicted. Oh, well, you see, after I saw you, I was attacked by a group of masked hoodlums. Masked hoodlums? Some were wearing regular passenger attire, and some were even donning crew uniforms. I managed to get away, but I'm sure they're involved in this incident somehow. We've got to try and uncover whatever it is they're plotting. Hmm. Interesting. Jerome, are you saying that monster has allies amongst the passengers and crew? Yes. Well, I'm not sure if they're allies, but there's several dodgy characters out there, for sure. And since they're passengers um, they're passing themselves off as both passengers and crew members, it's hard to tell them apart from regular people. Hmm. Okay, well, we got Jerome added to our contact list. And we got his Snap and Post account. Oh. Dearest Rooney, since you were kind enough to take an interest in... Patriarchs, what? Trio fun, trio Let me tell you who was triumphant.
Okay. Love was defeated. Modesty was defeated. Death was defeated. Fame was defeated. Tempo was defeated. Ultimately, it was Eternia who was triumphant. I want you to remember this. It is the glory of God. A blessed word that surpasses even death. Ah. Uh, Jerome, are you are you one of the crazies? He's spouting religious nonsense, which instantly puts him on my watch list anyway. Alright, well, whatever. Let's um get out of here. For now. Someone or something has destroyed the lower part of the stairway. It's a big drop, but I might just be able to make it. You might. Let's hope you do. That certainly wasn't that much of a drop, I'm going to be honest, but, you know, okay. I guess there's no going back now. Ah, for fuck's sake. So much for running in full screen mode. Oh, Jessica. Hi, Rooney. It's me, Jessica. Don't trust that Eric guy. He's dangerous. Huh? Just listen. Whatever you do, be careful around that Eric guy. Got it? Jessica? Jessica? Who was Eric? Oh, wait. Eric from before. And I need to reload the game, guys. Because I've made a bit of an error. Right, there's the envelope. Oh, before I forget, I've been holding on to this for you. An envelope? It was pushed under the door to your room. I picked it up thinking to give it to you when you got back, but then the monster attacked before I got the chance. Uh, of course. Uh, do you know what's inside? They seem to be old family photos. Are these what I think? This child here, that's me. This is a photo of me as a child. Then I guess that would make those around me my real family. I don't remember them clearly, so I can't say for sure. Your real family? You mentioned you weren't raised by them. Yes, my current parents told me they adopted me when I was still young. And they were sworn to secrecy regarding my real parents when they agreed to take me in. Still, thank you. I don't know who delivered this, but I'm grateful to have unearthed my roots, even if only a little. Well, if it's okay by you, Jerome, then it's okay by me. All right, glad we did that, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to get the good ending. See if this is still the same. Hi, Rooney. It's me, Jessica. Don't trust that Eric guy, huh? Just listen. Whatever you do... Be careful around that Eric guy. Got that? Jessica? Jessica? Yeah. So they're still fretting about, um... Still fretting about my friend. My friend Eric. Who does seem to be quite odd. He's the one that had the infection on his neck, I believe. Really strange character. Alright. Well, this looks like a container area. Okay. Right, we have to do a super fun, quick QTE, otherwise we get crashed by a crate. And I am definitely avoiding that, because I don't want to keep replaying. <laughs> Look who's in the crate. It's Mr. Snips. Come on, Mr. Snips. Let's be having you. Right, okay. We're going to run... Really? You grabbed me? You actually grabbed me here? You son of a bitch. Alright, whatever. So, let's get onto this conveyor belt. These are funny deaths, by the way, but we are gonna skip past them and actually do the correct procedure. Like I say, the video will be in the description if you do want to see all of the deaths. Uh-oh. This is bad. Must go faster, must go faster, must go faster. Surely it would be better to hang on to the rails and pull yourself along on the grating. But what do I know, I guess? Right. 
Right. Well, that's another crisis averted. Uh oh. What was that? I don't know. But we're not going to sit here and dwell on that. Let's get out of here. More crates. This must be the uh, storage area for the entire ship, I suppose. They probably were storing a little bit more than just Mr. Snips. I'm guessing this is where all the catering supplies and linen and all that stuff has been stored. Let's get out of here anyway. Somewhere around here should be... Ooh, these forklifts have had a bit of a mishap. But luckily... If we come this way, there's a phone charger. And you bet your ass I'm going to be taking advantage of that phone charger. And, ooh, nude. <laughs> there's a nude monitor there. Jesus, what a name for a company as well. Anyway, um, I'm going to take this uh, advantage to end the video here, end my torment. And uh, notice Rooney just glitched out there. She just, like, floated up and down. Yeah, so my holiday is over. I am back to work as of tomorrow. Well, so um, I guess it's going to be uh, <laughs> five days before I get the pleasure of playing this game again. But hopefully, um, we. to be fair, we are very, very close to the end, right? It's just the, the painful last steps towards the end of the game but anyway guys i hope you're getting some kind of entertainment from this um this game is you know i'd seen a lot of reviews and things on this game before i actually bought uh, well i was actually gifted it um by jimmy and yeah all the reviews none of them pulled any punches but i was like you know how honestly how bad could it be right you know because the best way to decide how how you know, good or how shit something is, play it yourself. And if anything, if anything, they, they undersold how bad this game was. It is truly in my top three of worst games that I've ever played. And in that, that's, that's an accomplishment because I've played some stinky games. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys.